Hello and welcome to another um, After 3 episodes And uh, guys, I said I wasn't going to get baked for every single one of these But uh, I, I had to get stoned for this one As you can see from the title, I am reviewing the, uh, yet another Netflix original It is called Disjointed And it's really good um, I gotta say, I, I found it surprisingly enjoyable. Like, it started out in this weird, like, phone recording type of situation, and it, it felt very, like, home movie style, and I was like, what have I gotten myself into? But, like, that's just, like, a, uh, that's just a thing they did for the intro, because, like, the the show takes place in modern times like shortly after California legalized recreational use of marijuana and, and um so like the camera phone was actually being used to make a YouTube video to promote this dispensary the show takes place in a dispensary uh Ruth's alternative or something uh Ruth is this Jewish mom, very stereotypical Jewish mom, who loves pot, and she owns a dispensary, and all her employees love pot, um, and the, it, it's really great, it's by Carsey Werner, the same people that are behind, like, the Drew Carey show, and that 70s show, and Roseanne, so a lot of, like, really good old TV shows, uh, that are classic, and especially that 70s show is, like, totally made for stoners, um, and that, that's, like, exactly how it's shot, like, it is a sitcom, it's a sitcom with characters and jokes, like, the kind you would expect, but because it's on Netflix, they can say other things that you can't say on TV, like shit, and fuck, and tits, and it's, it's, they don't, like, go overboard with it, they don't, they're not, like, overbearing with it, uh, but they, they use it to their advantage, it's, <laughs> it's very funny, um, and of course, being a dispensary, the show does heavily focus on the consumption of marijuana's uh, it's great, uh, so Ruth is, like, the Jewish mom, like I said, she has a son, and he's, uh, I forget his name, and he, he wants to, like, make a business model for this, uh, dispensary so that his mom can franchise, and his mom's very, like, old school against the man type of deal, and she only wanted the dispensary to rebel against the authority, you know, and, like, it's, so, so like, business is not what she wanted to do with it, you know, and so there's that dynamic going on, and then, like, this dude, this son of hers, has a girlfriend who works at the dispensary, and she's pretty good friends with his mom, and, like, everyone keeps telling him and her that they should get it on, you know, including Ruth, and it's, uh, that, that's awkward, that's fucking weird, but, um, they had this funny bit where, uh, the two were about to get it on, and then, like, Ruth in his head and Ruth in her head both show up, and, like, they get distracted, and they go to get ramen, because they, like, don't feel like they're in the mood anymore, and then the Ruths are still in the room, and they're, like, about to fight, and then one of the Ruths is like why don't we just light up instead, and then, like, the, the Amazon Alexa goes, I would like some, too, <laughs> and it was awesome, um, and then there's, a uh, this Asian girl, I think she's Chinese, but I wouldn't know, and that's not racist, because I am part Chinese, ask my mom, um, and so, like, she, uh, is lying to her parents about being at medical school and she's working at this dispensary in California and like she doesn't know how to tell her parents and uh then there's the dude who grows the pot his name I also forget <laughs> god I can't remember anyone on this fucking show <laughs> 
but um he's he's very much like your stereotypical uh drug rug wearing beanie wearing long haired talking in poems motherfucker stoner and he's just a delight he makes the whole show um and then, and then the dispensary has the security guard his name is carter and he was in vietnam and like sometimes he sees weird shit you know and they do these cool like animations that, that are like these acid trips of what's going on in his brain and it, it's just it's great um they're beautiful they're trippy um they're they're very good um and in between segments there's like these commercials but they're not real commercials they're like fucking mock up commercials of like this is this is a pizza attorney who wants to help you get your money for your lost munchies that took too long to get to your door <laughs> or like there's these ones where it's two stoners on the couch eating lays potato chips and watching TV and then it goes on for a little while, and then it's just, like, the Lay's logo overlaid on the screen, and the dude says Lay's. <laughs> it's great. Um, and the, there's also, like, this thing going on where, like, the characters have a YouTube channel uh, for the dispensary, and then there's these customers who come into the dispensary pretty regularly, and they have a YouTube channel. And, like, it'll show, like, clippets of what their YouTube shows would be like, the, their YouTube videos. I actually kind of want to go on YouTube after I make this and find out if those YouTube videos are actually on YouTube, because it, it would be pretty great if they they made YouTube videos specifically for the show, uh, uh, you know, and kind of like kind of like how the there's the BoJack Horseman Twitter. Um, see that that reminds me. Uh, did I mention yet that it's a Netflix original? I I will do other things besides just Netflix originals, it's just like, I have Netflix, so, well, I don't have Netflix, but my friends have Netflix, so, like, I'm gonna utilize that in the meantime for these, uh, cause there's actually a lot of shows that I really wanna see on Netflix, like, I wanna check out The Ranch, but I'm getting way ahead of myself, like, um, so then, like, the first episode... There's this, like, 40s mom chick. She She's played by the lady that voiced the poodle in The Secret Life of Pets, which I hate that movie, but if there's anything I liked about that movie, it was the cast, because most of the people on that cast are funny comedians. Um, and, and she, like, sits down and smokes weed for the first time, and she gets fucking ripped. And then she becomes, like, a main side character. Like, she shows up later on down the road, smoking weed with a hat that says hashtag stoner, but she's 40, so she's out of touch, so she says, number sign stoner is awesome, and I love it, and um, the security guard dude, his name, Carter, uh, he, and I remember that one because my son's name is Carter, uh, he ne doesn't smoke pot, so like, <clears throat> there's this joke where like, some of the employees ask him how come he doesn't smoke pot and he goes I've considered it but then I've seen women like her and he points to the lady I was just talking about the one that's the mom that yeah it, it, she's just melted into this chair like total stoner and like it's it's pretty good um at like poking SJW stereotypes too which like I'm totally about that that's that's funny to me, because, um, a, lo a lot of, um, the, like, far-left liberals do live here on the western side of this country, uh, and also in New York, and, like, the, the, the ones in California are totally, like, not all the, like, extreme Antifa members we've seen over the last couple of years, but, like, very very much, like, the the marginalized intersectional shit, and, um, they just eat that shit up. They, they make a... <coughs> they, they make a bunch of good jabs about the... <coughs> the like, far-left crowd. And it's, it's really funny, I think. But, um, and then, like, the, 
dispensary's owner's son, like, there's these two stoners that really like that dispensary. So he, like, makes a deal with them, like, their YouTube channel, they're going to supply them with free pots so that they can promote them on their YouTube channel. <coughs> and, um... They, 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 the dispensary themselves have a, on their YouTube channel, they have a strain of the day segment where they show off a strain from the dispensary and they're totally just like hamming up, hammed up stoners, you know, it's, it's a delight. Um, also playing on stoner stereotypes, which I, I, I love, they're hilarious. Um, it's, it's very much a TV style sitcom. It, very much is that, but, uh, it's, it's fun and lighthearted entertainment, and, uh, then there's this one where, like, the dude had been in, like, the PTSD state, and was <coughs> feeling depressed, and everyone in the dispense, <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys, I'm sick, <coughs> everyone in the dispensary was all like, <clears throat> trying to make him feel better and he's depressed and so he finally comes out and he decides he's going to smoke pot and it it's something to behold if you're a stoner if you enjoy stoner humor if you hang out with stoners Disjointed is highly recommended by me uh it's great i forgot to mention the taekwondo instructor there's a taekwondo instructor who comes into the dispensary and tells the lady like that the people from her shop are lighting up in the parking lot and the other people in the plaza strip mall plaza strip mall plaza are getting tired of her customers smoking weed in their parking lots because it's dis discouraging their business and like she she tackles him and straight up like kicks his ass and he it's funny because he's a daekwondo instructor and she's a 60 year old lady i think she's 60 uh maybe she's 50 i don't remember but um i highly recommend it it's hilarious it's something that has been seen before but like at the same time something completely new uh, I am the philosopher, I am stoned, and after three episodes, yes, I will continue to watch Disjointed.